session on uh, good evening i'm meenakshi so i will be taking a session on toefl uh, toefl is test of english as a foreign language so uh, people will be knowing uh, they'll have this question why should i write toefl what is toefl about what is toefl so toefl is an english examination that you will be taking um, like either if you want to do a university study work or if you want to immigrate from one country to another then you have to take this english language test for you to actually prove that you are good enough to uh, handle the language in that particular country why is it saying that english is a foreign language is that so when any uh, person from either up, um, us or canada comes to our country we tell that they are a foreign like they are foreigners so when we go to that country we will be the foreigners for them so that is why they are considering english as a foreign language test so why should you take toefl is that when you are going from one country to another uh, like if you are in this country then you have so many languages that there are being spoken in different states and you can manage if you go to any uh, state if you know the language yeah similarly if you go to a, if you move from country to country the universal language is english so they want to know how strong you are in english and how much you can manage in that country it's just like a pass that you need to tell them that you are good enough in english and you can survive in the country so in uh, uh, in if you take about toefl uh, there are actually 11000 universities in our uh, in around the world that in over uh, 150 countries that will accept your uh, toefl examinations toefl will be mostly accepted by your american and canada universities so you will have to uh, it's actually use uh, this test will tell the people that you have a good understanding in english and you can uh, you are very good in speaking writing and the universities will consider you as a person who was well enough to survive in that place so ets is educational testing services which will actually be responsible for conducting your toefl examinations ets is responsible for con for uh, conducting your gre examinations also you will have to they will conduct the test they will have a uh, specific examinations for free that you can try before writing your gre exams or your toefl exams uh, you have to book the test in the ets um, site so this english test or you have to check what university will accept what score and what type of proficiency test will they accept so there are universities in let it be in chicago or new york or in any in dallas or texas or any place they will accept you to have a your toefl score above 100 out of 120 so yes your toefl is for 120 you have four sections each section is 30 marks and you will have it for 120 overall you will have to have above at least a 90 or a 100 out of 120 for you to uh, get into the college so uh, for you to get into any university so there are universities which will not require your toefl also for example your northeastern university will not accept your toefl instead they will accept your ielts it's not that they won't accept your toefl instead you can write your ielts and convert it to your toefl because that will give you a mark increase it's difficult for you to write your toefl when compared to that of ielts ielts is quite easy when compared to toefl i will explain the differences between ielts and toefl um, in the other slides so now first check what universe what course you want to do what university is best for that course in that university what are the specifications for example there are universities which will take your scoring like this gre is like two sections you know that gre is a quants and your quantitative and your english examination that is your verbal so there are universities which will only consider your quants mark from gre and your english mark from your toefl but there are other universities that will consider both your gre verbal and quants and your toefl mark but mostly um, three fourth of the universities in abroad which accept toefl marks will only consider your english mark from the to uh, toefl examinations and not from your gre verbal so you have to if in case you are choosing universities like that concentrate a lot on your gre exams where you have where you have to focus a lot on your um um quantitative uh, part you have to score at least a 160 out of 170 and you have to score above 100 out of 120 in toefl to get into a good reputed university so why toefl is that when you are you you will be appearing as an international student or an uh, international person to any uh, uh, country um, 
that's apart from India. So when you are an international student or um, it's, you have to prove that you are good enough in English. And uh, why should you do that is because that's a universal language and they will actually understand that you are good enough to be in that particular university because what you want to do is in English throughout. So they want to know how strong enough you are in every section, like whether you can speak properly, whether you can write or whether your reading and listening will prove how much you can understand the English that they talk and how much you can infer from that. So when you take about... Um, there are actually universities which will consider a scholarship even for your TOEFL and GRE mark. Suppose if you have a 310 in your GRE and 110 in your TOEFL, there are universities who will accept you and give you a 15% of scholarship that will actually be a very good thing for your studies because when you're spending so many lakhs and going to uh, do a pursue a higher education in abroad. When you get a 15% of scholarship, that will reduce the amount that you have to pay and that would uh, that would actually show that you are uh, good enough to be a part of the university. So for visa application, TOEFL will be very important for them to ensure that uh, you can be a part of the country uh, uh, that you're going to be. So mostly your, uh, Canada universities and US universities will accept TOEFL. Uh, if not, uh, they, uh, they don't accept uh, TOEFL, they will accept your IELTS mark. Your Canadian universities will accept your IELTS mark for the first, for your for, for any um, uh, course, but TOEFL will also be accepted by them. It's not that they won't accept your TOEFL mark. You can write your TOEFL, but you can't convert it to IELTS, but you can write your IELTS and then you can convert it to your TOEFL. So now there are two types of IE, uh, TOEFL test. One is your internet-based test and the other is your paper delivered test. So what is the difference between your paper-based test and your um, um, pay, um, your internet test is that uh, mostly as far as I know, according to my knowledge, uh, people over here will mostly take your IE, uh, TOEFL as the internet-based test because the, there are actually two, uh, there is a, a section change in your paper delivered test and your uh, internet based test. Uh, in your paper delivered test, you will not be having speaking, but you will have something called structure as return. But when you take an internet based test, you will have speaking. Why people take internet is because that is preferred and you, uh, more, that is preferred by the universities and they will accept the mark. Uh, in your internet based test more than that of your paper based test and paper based test is only applicable in places where there is no internet and that is not going to be possible yet that situation will not happen here you have enough internet for you to write your internet based test so i would recommend all of you to take a TOEFL internet ba internet based test if in case you will be appearing for your TOEFL examinations so when and all can you take your TOEFL based test is that you can actually take it one to four weeks you can take it uh, in many countries and you can take notes in your TOEFL internet based test. I will explain where and when you have to take your take notes. You can, the test cannot be taken more than once every three days. So in three days, you can only take once. So you can appear how many ever times you want for your TOEFL. Your GRE is applicable for five years. Your TOEFL and IELTS is applicable for three years. Uh, next. Uh, your uh, the difference uh, in your internet based test you will be having four sections speaking reading listening and writing um, so your all these four sections will happen in the same day and it is not like IELTS that you have to appear twice for your examinations if in case of your paper delivered test you will not have speaking because uh, over here one thing is that uh, the people who are actually conducting your speaking for example a person is going to ask you a question like describe about yourself that person will only record what you're going to tell and he is not he or she is not the one who is going to put a mark for you this recording will be sent to another person who will only take your responses and then put a score for you. That will happen same for IELTS, but if, when you're taking it for a TOEFL paper-based test, you will not have someone who will be taking your responses. Instead, you will have to take only writing twice. That is, you'll have to take something called structure as return. That is a different type of writing. It's not like a normal writing section. So that is the difference when you take it for your paper-based test or your uh, internet-based test. So the test pattern, you will have it for four hours. So your first is reading. 
you'll have three to four passages. Either it will be your academic questions or it might be any question, situation-based questions or anything like that. And you will have to, uh, you will only be having 30 to 40 questions in that. You'll have to answer according to it. Uh, you will know like how you're answering. Your questions might be quite tricky, but there are a few uh, tricks that you have to follow when you're going for your reading. So next is listening. Uh, when you take listening, you'll be having... Um, you will have again um, 20 you'll again have 40 questions in everything you'll be having 40 questions so in these what you have to do is in listening before you go for listening make sure that you listen to a lot of native uh, speakers native speakers are people in that particular country like for example listen to people who talk in your different english like british english or any english just uh, listen to people who take lectures or listen to abroad people who are in the abroad who take any live sessions or something just listen to them then you'll know what is the difference of the people who talk here and people who talk in the abroad countries then you'll know why here first understand what they talk and then you have to know how difficult it is for listening because uh, we won't understand the way they pronounce the words because we are like uh, we listen to words that how we pronounce in proper normal english but they will pronounce the word like differently and you have to have a very very you have to be very sharp in listening to the lectures or conversations or any discussions and then you have to answer the questions your, your audio will not be played more than twice next is you'll have a break for 10 minutes because it is an after stretch exam it's not an exam that you can write for two days so you will not have a break uh, you it's not like you take a break for an entire day and then go it's a break for 10 minutes 